clipping is one of the big things that can disrupt your flow and upset your focus on a sport climb. But if you're methodical, you need never struggle again. The secret is always to resist the temptation to clip at the first possible opportunity, to hold fire and to look for the most stable position to clip from. You should then try to clip from a straight arm wherever possible. Let's look at a classic scenario. Eyeballing the quick draw, I fail to even notice the huge jug that's looming only one move away, and instead I clip from a smaller hold with a strenuous bent arm. And the higher the clip, the longer it takes to execute, as you often have to put the rope in your teeth once or even twice in order to gather the slack. Much better to press on and clip from the jug, but here, in my eagerness to clip at all costs, I bend my arm completely unnecessarily. Instead, bend your legs and straighten your arm to create a far less strenuous position. But even this isn't ideal. With the jug in our hand and the clip so close, in our haste, we often forget to check the footholds. But here, a slight readjustment and now the hips are hanging directly below the handhold in a completely stable position eliminating that slight barn door that we noticed before. It's obviously so much better. As a rule of thumb, bolts are usually placed near to good holes, and so you rarely need to clip a draw when it's above head height. The only variation is with indoor climbing walls when the clips are often very close together, and here, a great energy saving tip is to clip two at a time. A final method, if the clip genuinely lies between good holds, is to perform a mid-move clip. This simply involves building the clip into the sequence so it's barely noticed. That covers clipping positions, but it's equally important to ensure that your hand technique is sorted. There are only three ways to clip a bolt. With a forehand, a backhand, or a fumble clip. Let's look at the first two only. For a forehand clip, where the gate is facing away from you, take the rope diagonally across the palm of your hand, trap the back of the beaner with your thumb, and use the nose to capture the rope. With the backhand clip, Pinch the rope between thumb and forefinger. Capture the apex of the beanie with your index finger and then twist the wrist to flick the rope home. There are minor variations on both these methods, but the important thing is that you practice your own and stick to it in the heat of the moment.